seen this morning in various spots, but uh, for the most part, it's cloudy, kind of gloomy, and that's sort of like what we're dealing with uh, for the most of the week. How much sunshine All until right. the weekend, Patrick? You may get a little glimmer here or there this morning, then again tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at the current conditions. New Bedford's one of those spots with a little bit of sunlight breaking through that thick cloud cover. Meanwhile, in North Situate, fog. In fact, visibility is down below a mile right now in the northern part of Rhode Island, actually back up to one mile. Not enough to slow you down this morning, but just kind of a sign of the gloomy conditions that we see this morning. Upper 30s Providence and Smithfield already 40s along the coastline. New Bedford's at 43. It's 42 in Coventry right now and in the lower 30s in Glendale. But roadway uh, pavement temperature is safely above freezing, so we're not concerned about icy conditions locally. Our threat tracker, I I'm keeping it in the green. We've got rain on the way, but we're not expecting significant impacts. About a half inch of rain, most of that falling through the second half of the day. Wednesday daytime hours, there's not a lot going on. It's more towards the evening where the next round of rain will be pushing in another quarter to a half an inch of rain with that. Thursday is not much measurable rain, but some fog, drizzle, mist, kind of a gray raw day with much cooler temperatures starting to return to southern New England. You can see these light showers moving back in eastern Connecticut now pushing into western Rhode Island. So you're going to need your umbrella at times this morning and then definitely in the afternoon. This warm front as it gradually lifts northward will bring this round of rain east into southern New England. So our forecast highs today is gradually climbing up into the upper 40s. Rain likely winds out of the south in the afternoon at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So lighter showers for the end of the morning steadier rainfall in the afternoon. At that point, the temperatures are ranging from about 45 to 50 degrees for most of our area and staying in that range this evening and even overnight tonight as most of the showers taper off by early tomorrow morning after midnight about uh, 46 in Smithfield at 6 a.m. Look at some of these temperatures 54 tomorrow morning in New Bedford 51 in Providence, a very mild start to the day Wednesday. As we look ahead to the rainfall amounts for today, about a half an inch of rain expected. Another round of showers Wednesday evening. Here we are at 6 o'clock Wednesday evening. That rain pushing into the area, mostly tapering to just overcast skies, but with a northeast wind on Thursday. Damp, gloomy, occasional lighter showers Friday. A few more showers to get through. Maybe cold enough Friday for a few wet snow showers, but I don't expect any impacts from it as far as travel conditions go around here. Uh, it does cool down to more seasonable highs by the end of the week. It's not a lot of cold air, but at least northern New England, after we get through some rainy conditions the next several days, will start to cool down enough that they should be able to make some snow up in the mountains. 29 degrees Saturday morning, 41 for an afternoon high to start the weekend, and Sunday looking brighter and drier near 40.